My name is Rodale Makafu Ofori, the main chapel prefect for Infantiman Girls Senior High School. And yes, as you can see, today is Sunday and then our girls are preparing for church service. So yes, um, for Sundays we are supposed to wake up by 5 a.m. because we don't have any activity apart from church service. But personally, I wake up um, around 4.30, take my bath and then leave the house really early, go to class and then I study for um, a short period, yes. Because I'm going to use the whole day preparing for church service, I go to class really early, I study some small, I study some small past question and then I get out to, you know, find whatever I have to, you know, plan or do. So, when I step out on Sunday mornings like that, I inform the houses that are supposed to put the place um, in order for church service. So I tell them the time they are supposed to come, the people they are supposed to come with, and then what specifically they are supposed to do. So from there, I move back to my classroom. It's either I continue my studies or I visit any of the denominations. Yes, as chapel prefects, I don't stay at one, so I don't attend one church service. So early in the morning like that, we have denominational meetings. If it's not denominational meeting, it's scripture union. So with that, I visit the denominations or I go for scripture union from 10 to 12. So yes. From that time, it's lunch time for me. So I go for my lunch and then return here and then put the place in other small. That is by um, assigning people to pick any filth or if, um, rubbish around. Then we start with the organizations. We first bring the chairs out, we mount the stage, and then we arrange the speakers for church service. So as you can see, we have an assembly hall, but someone might ask, why don't we have our church service in the assembly hall? So for Infantiman Girls Senior High School, we have two chapel prefects, main and then the deputy. So because of the large population of the school, the two chapel prefects cannot 
organize church service alone. So with this, my deputy and I decided to have a committee um, called the Chapel Committee. So this committee is mostly our, let me say, our support when it comes to organizing church service. If there's any problem, we just assign the duty and then they put the place in order for the church service. We cannot all fit into the assembly hall. So most of the time we have church service on the car park because it can accommodate or host all of us during activities like this. So if it's not the car park, we mostly have it in our old and the new dining hall, which is right behind me here. So church service starts from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. there. So what goes on during church service? Our Reverend Minister, Reverend uh, Kwesi Bwache, he comes and then he opens us. He, let me say, opens the floor by praying and then we continue with our praises and worship, take off a tree and then... After that, we get visitors from outside, yes, so these visitors are um, sometimes are old students or 
reverend ministers or pastors that decide to come and just drop by and then share a word with us. to go through a door. Doors and gates are used interchangeably. Some doors, I, I remember one old door that used to be at a village. You have to go back and then push it with your leg before it can open. There are some doors too, you have to also position yourself well and then push it in with your buttons or with your body before that door can open. There are some that you also don't have to struggle. One time I was going to some point, there's a place there, Gensby. It was around eight, nine o'clock. And so as we were going, there was a big gate there. And I was wondering how you would enter into that gate. In fact, there was no security, there was no one. And so one of the um, brothers got closer and then he used his whole strength to push the gate. Indeed, it opened, but there was a mystery behind that gate. He didn't need to open it. All we needed to do was to get closer with the, with the, with the car, and then the gate would open by itself. And so there are some gates you don't need to struggle to enter into. There are some gates that you have to enter into with prayer. There are some gates that you have to enter into with fasting. There are some gates that you have to enter into with divine encounters.
into announcements and then we bring church service to an end. So yes, that is what goes on really during church service. Being Chapel Perfect actually has helped me so much. I, let me say, as a Christian, my spiritual, uh, spirituality was a little bit low when I came to the school. But with this position, I've learned a lot because I've had the opportunity to talk to big men of God, great and powerful men of God, and then even Reverend himself. So yes, it has been a plus to my spirituality. And then for church service, for the students body, mostly, mostly, the youth are not into the things of God nowadays. So for church service, the more they put their all into it, the more they listen to the word of God, the, the more they are transformed. So yes, it's a plus for them. Yes, it's a church service actually, or let me just say the spirituality level of the students body is being raised every time we have church service. I want to thank the school administration and then school management, most importantly the headmistress, Mrs. Phyllis D. Atta Simpson for the opportunity I've been given um, for the election into office. Yes, it has been of great help to me and then the people around me. And also, I want to thank High Schools Africa for this opportunity to express or let me say explain my experience or share my experience of being chapel, chapel prefect of Infantiman Girls in High School. Man, no, man,